To reset or to normalize? That is the question. This topic is highly subjective and depends on several factors, such as the type of your project, browser compatibility, and personal preference. By default, all browsers come with their own preset styles. Inherently, they apply some kind of default styles to our HTML documents. For example, that is how our H1 elements appear larger than the H3 elements. Realistically, browsers these days try and stay consistent with each other. Mostly, the bigger problems were in the early stages, especially with Internet Explorer. But even today, there are some differences between the default styles of our browsers. When discussing CSS Reset, historically, we must mention Eric Meyer's CSS Reset style sheet. In more recent times, another minimal reset option by Kevin Powell has emerged. Additionally, we have the famous normalize.css and my personal favorite, modern normalize. There are numerous options available for us to utilize. These are just a few examples. In our next demo section, we will observe the behavior of some of these resets and normalized style sheets. When applying these initial styles, we should always include them before adding our own styles. By default, this website does not seem to have a lot of differences, but there are some slight differences in the fonts that will also depend on the operating system you're using. There are also defaults like margins in our body, as well as the strong tags, and interestingly enough, this text area has a top and bottom margin of 1 pixel and border of 2 pixels in Firefox, compared to no margin and border of 1 in Chrome. These are the kind of things that these style sheets helps us reset or keep consistent. When we add Eric Meyer style sheet, we can observe that all of our styles, including those for H1 and H3 tags, have been reset across all browsers. This might be useful if you want to be in control of everything and do everything from scratch. When we add modern normalize, you can see that our website was not reset. This just helps us keep things consistent between modern browsers, since normalize only focuses on the latest Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Fun fact is that Tailwind CSS leverages the modern normalize as the foundation for its pre-flight base styles. This brings me to the conclusion that whatever technique you choose, it depends on your very own use cases and personal flavors. That's all for this one, folks. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.